And welcome back to Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. It's Monday Night Football taking on the Chicago Bears in this one. Justin Fields versus Dwayne Haskins, the battle of the Ohio State quarterbacks. And before we get into this one, I want to remind you to be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more Pittsburgh Steelers franchise videos. So early on here, Dwayne Haskins, play action. Going to find Juju Smith-Schuster. And Schuster is going to run away from the entire Bears defense on that one. What a massive play right there to kick this game off. I feel like on offense, the Steelers offense has been sort of missing these sorts of plays. These sort of just big chunk plays have not gotten exactly a lot of them. So out would come Justin Fields. Look at this, 2,000 yards so far, 15 touchdowns to four interceptions. So second and 11 throws this one right here. That's going to be a big play right there to Tariq Cohen, I believe that is. Going to get shoved out of bounds. So now second and one. Now Fields has all day. Going to find his man right there. Who's going to get brought down? That's Mooney. So now second and seven. Fields looking. Throws this one towards the end zone. The receiver gets a hand on it, but it gets upended right there by Trey Edmonds. So now third and seven. Fields looking here. Looking. Scanning the field. Really can't find anything downfield, and he's going to get sacked right there. That's Quincy Roche. His first on the year. Playing for the injured T.J. Watt, who uh, tried giving him a go to play in this game. Now here's another big play. That's just out of bounds. T.J. Watt tried giving him a go. Didn't feel good enough in this one. Should be back next week. So now Fields, he's just going to launch this one up. Just throws throws it off his back foot, and that's Cam Sutton getting mossed. Going up against Allen Robinson. And that would probably be the last time you see Cameron Sutton on Allen Robinson in this one. And then there's Justin Fields. Who hits the turf again. That's Melvin Ingram coming in for the sack. His second on the season. Starting to heat up a little bit this pass rushes. So now Haskins on the run. He's just going to keep it this time. Going to get out of bounds. And that's a first down right there. So now Haskins comes back again. First and ten. Play action. He's going to get hit right here. That's going to be a sack fumble. Khalil Mack going to pick it up. And Trey Turner. This entire offensive line. It really limits the type of offense you can run with it when you have an offensive line that just sort of lets through pressure like this. I don't even think anyone even got a hand on, I believe that's Robert Quinn. I don't think anyone got a hand on him in for the block. So it sort of just allowed him a free release right there on a play action look. So now Haskins on the run, rolls out to his left, going to find Najee Harris. Almost goes out of bound the momentum, but he stays in bound and he scores the touchdown. Najee Harris with the big play right there, able to catch the football, able to get himself rebalanced, recombobulated on where he was. And he takes that one to the house. Big play right there. Able to break contain. That's something you really have to do with this offensive line. It really feels like you just sort of can't stand back there. You got to move around and sort of get outside the pocket. So now first and ten. Going for a big play right here. And there's Cameron Sutton. I said that'd be the last time. You said, I think this will definitely be the last time. Got Moss last time, so he decides to get overly physical right there. I'm almost positive that was going to be an incomplete pass. So Cameron Sutton here just sort of gifting points right now. There's Tariq Cohen, who's going to get shoved out of bounds. And they have to settle for a field goal. So 16 to 14. Bears with the lead. It doesn't feel like they should be leading in this game, but... As typical with this Steelers team, mistakes, just mental errors have, have cost them this season. So here's Najee Harris with a run. Not saying too much run because, well, the Bears or the Bears defense is sort of stopping it, but the Steelers offensive line just, you know, can't be bothered to create a hole. And here's Haskins gonna get sacked again. Ty CK just didn't get a hand on Robert Quinn. Just sort of let him have a free release right at the quarterback. So Haskins now going to find, I believe, that is Ray Ray McLeod, the third, coming in for the catch to pick up the first down. So now second and ten. Play action look again. Haskins on the run here. He's just going to keep it himself and gets out of bounds. So now third and seven. Look in here. 
pressure coming in and Chase Claypool. I could have swore that foot went out of bounds before the ball got to him, but they didn't throw the hat up. So now Haskins on the run again here. Thinks better of it and throwing and just sort of tries to get to the one. So now second and goal. Handoff here. Najee Harris leaping into the end zone. Touchdown Steelers. Najee Harris, his first rushing touchdown of the game. And that'll make it 21 to 16. He goes diving right in. One of the few times the offensive line got some push right there. Because uh, for more, more often tonight, they just have not gotten a push. So now third and five. Fields going to challenge going up to Allen Robinson again. But this time it's not Cameron Sutton. It's Joe Hayden with the interception. Joe Hayden picks off Justin Fields. He took a shot there. No Cameron Sutton. Fields, I mean, there's nothing open. So it works like a punt, I would say. Better than taking a sack in that situation, I, I, would, I would say. So now third and seven. And this offensive line again just can't get the job done when you need it to. Backed up right there. So really, unless in the punt, it doesn't really go that far. So it's not like, you know, at the eight, you ended up with basically the same field position you had before the interception. And then I'm not sure what Minka Fitzpatrick's doing here. He's nowhere near the vicinity of that play. He should be back deep, but he's not. So David Montgomery... With a big play, and the Bears retake the lead in this one. They're going to go for two. Fields, quick throw right here. Jimmy Graham, that was not a good defense to be in. You have Melvin Ingram out in coverage. So now second and eight. Play action again. Getting Haskins on the run. Throws this one, and Juju able to get the feet stopped in time and comes up with that one. So now first and ten. Handoff right here, and that's what I'm talking about with this offensive line. 14 rushes for 41 yards at this point. You know, at this point, you I think you'd want to be able to run the football. So here's Najee Harris able to catch that football out in the flat. Haskins having a good day so far. So now third and seven. Haskins going to step back and escape out the pocket here a bit. And just sort of tries running for it. But Robert Quinn, they're going to credit that a sack as he lost the yard. But they end up going for it here on fourth and eight. Don't want to give the ball back to the Bears. And I agree with this call right here. Great throw right there. I believe that's Ray Ray McLeod again with another key grab. So now second and ten. A handoff here. Finally getting a little bit of space to operate for Najee Harris. He doesn't get that often enough though. So now Najee Harris again. Able to run the football right there. Pick up some positive yards. Pick up the first down. So now first and ten. Handoff here to Najee Harris. And sometimes he is just tough to tackle. And uh, I think he just said, all right, I got to do this myself because this offensive line ain't helping. Once again, another nice design play right there. Najee Harris, tough to go down. It wasn't until Khalil Mack got to him that he was brought down at the three. So now the Steelers here in scoring position going to come back now. First and goal at the three. 3.05 left. 3.04 counting down here. And Haskins in this team. Questioning if whether or not they can get this football in. Trying to, I think, take the clock down a bit here. You don't want to give them too much time. If they have to score, Najee Harris dragging a man into the end zone right there. Najee Harris, touchdown number three on the day for him. Has one receiving and two on the ground. Just some amazing plays right there. That's basically what he does, did to the SEC competition while he was at Bama. So big play right there. They retake the lead. So now it's up to Justin Fields, the rookie. Can he lead a comeback drive right here? Here's a big play. And Cameron Sutton just getting burned here left and right. He broke that one up. And so here's Jimmy Graham with a play right there. Somehow accelerating really quickly as if he's fast. He's not. He's slow. But he's able to get to a third and one right there. So now Fields going to find Allen Robinson again. And they pick up the first down. Now the two-minute warning comes out. So now first and ten again. Here's Allen Robinson again. Make a Fitzpatrick. Poor play right there from him. So now, and they would booth review it, but that was clearly a catch. I'm not sure why the officials, they just like wasting time being on TV. Second and three now. 
Fields looks, gonna find a man underneath. And that's David Montgomery, I believe, who gets knocked down. So now first and 10. Fields looking here. Has all day. Scrambles outside the pocket. Somehow that ball gets out of his hands, even though it looks like he was clearly sacked. But he was able to throw it away right there. And that's almost picked off. And that would have iced the game. Instead, it's a deflection. And here is another play underneath right here. And that's going to get him down to the 22. So now Fields steps back. Throws this one under pressure. Joe Hayden can't get to Allen Robinson. And that's a touchdown. And the Bears are now going to look like they're going to steal this football game. Booth review. Have to, score, have to review every scoring play. It says overturned. I'm not sure why. That was clearly a touchdown. So now third and 10. 29 seconds left in the offensive line. They just can't hold up here. They can't hold up. You need to get into field goal range here to go for the tie to get into overtime. But this offensive line just, just cannot hold up right here. And that is how this one's going to crumble. The Steelers melt down in overtime. They had, or not in overtime, they don't even get to overtime. They melt down in the fourth. They had this game and just let it slip out of their fingers. Had it within grasps of getting a key win here. And not able to hold on here. And I'm not sure why these guys are taking cool pitches with each other as if it's a end of a preseason game. You just lost the regular season game. I don't really get that. Dwayne Haskins pressured 15 times tonight. This offensive line is a mess. So the Steelers drop this one to the Bears 31-28. Steelers now 4-4 four and four in the season. And the Bears are going to be 5-4. and four. Dwayne Haskins, 22 of 32, 305 yards, two touchdowns. Najee Harris, 19 carries, 75 yards, two touchdowns on the ground, and one receiving touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, four receptions, 102 yards, one touchdown. Melvin Ingram, seven tackles, three TFLs, and three sacks on the quarterback today. Justin Fields was phenomenal outside of that one interception. David Montgomery didn't look great, but, you know, Pass catching was really good. Allen Robinson, beastly for his four receptions. And then Robert Quinn leading the way for the Bears defense, caused that forced the fumble. Three and a half sacks on the day for him. Khalil Mack returned it to the house and allowed the Bears to win this game. So that was a game. I don't even know what to say. I, I, I thought we were pretty clearly in the driver's seat and then we like lost. So that wasn't all that fun. Um... Yeah, just brutal stuff here. Um, slowing down a little bit with the franchise videos because I keep hearing about this glitch people get where like results get changed or something. So I'm sort of worried that I'm going to run into that. I haven't run into that yet. Haven't had that problem. So uh, yeah, upgrading this offensive line a bit more and upgrading it is the best we can, I suppose. Kendrick Green gets an upgrade. Quincy Roche gets an upgrade. He had two sacks in this game, actually. Uh, so that's nice, but his playing time probably going to be over now as we are going to get back TJ Watt. That's going to help us out, I think, greatly, greatly getting a player like that back in the fold for us. But Quincy Roche definitely showed something. Take a look here at the cornerbacks. If there's anyone there that I would be somewhat interested in signing. Kind of looked at Kadar Holman even. Uh... If you notice, the thing I'm looking at here is speed because that sort of matters. We need speed, but I don't know if it matters when zones are broken and guys don't do what they should be doing defensively. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know if that matters per se. So, we have focused the first part of our season on our defense. I thought I played pretty well defensively. We are going to go with an offensive upgrade here, and I think that one is for something blocking. I didn't look now. I think it's like plus one for offensive uh, run block power by one is what we upgrade here in this one. And we'll upgrade it again next time we get enough points for so it can be by three. And uh, yeah, look at these goals. Some of these are score five offensive touchdowns. So we're going to change this. I'd... And every time I change this, we actually do end up meeting like the original goal. So maybe I shouldn't doubt myself too much, but... We're gonna get. We're, we're gonna aim for 450 plus yards uh, on offense as we take on the one in seven Detroit Lions. 
but we're close to the same overall. Actually, technically, they're only one overall lesser than us. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe, and come back for more Steelers franchise. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.